Hello everyone, I hope you're doing fine. Today I'm going to show you how to take pictures, especially for travelers. So if you are a traveler, don't forget to share this video with others so they would know how to take your pictures. And today I'm with my cousin, Emily. Hello, I'm Emily. And we're going on an adventure in the nature and also with very beautiful views to show her how to take beautiful pictures for someone else. All right? If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and like the video. Good! Okay, so stay tuned and follow our adventure together. So it is important that you put the lines, the grid lines, yes. straight with the horizon, you see? The radar would be on the right line. Yes. And when a person will be here, you have to take the picture over there. Okay? Yes. And so hold the line. So we're going to have this image. Well, I can see a shine on the horizon. Oh, this it. Oh, I'm on this line and the radar is on this line. Okay? <laughs> Today we are on an adventure with my cousin Emily. Hello, Emily. Hello. <laughs> and uh, we, I'm teaching her how to take photos. And this is good also for you how to take photos, especially for travelers, because travelers cherish those moments and. Uh, it will be a souvenir. A photo will be a souvenir. So this is the way how you should take a photo. Emily here is very great uh, student. She has learned. So she's going to tell us what she really learned. So the horizon will be straight. Horizon, what is horizon? Horizon is the sea, sea. where it ends. Okay, so the horizon should be straight. That's number one. And what we learned as well? Um, that, um, that the person of the left will have the line. On the grid, so the person should be on a grid. On the line, yes. or on the left, or on the right. On the left. But this, this photo here on Dingley Cliffs, near the radar, it was on the left. Yes. And where was the radar? On the right. The radar was on the right. You can check out the photo somewhere here. <laughs> and what else have you learned? That the view is... The view should be seen in the photo. The, the person shouldn't be that close up because the view is very important to be seen. Yes. Okay, that's good. Yes. Brava. And also the sun. What we learned about the sun? If you will be looking at the sun, you will, you will get black. But if you, you will look this way, 
Where is in the sun and it will come like that. You will see. Okay. So the, it is it is meant. If the photographer is looking at the sun, there will be everything black. It's like silhouette. Yes. Okay? So ideally the photographer the photographer back will be um, fa the favor of the sun. The one? Good. And the image, the photo, should be spot on the sun. Huh? Bravo. <laughs> okay, so let's continue our adventure. We're going to move from Dingley Cliffs and uh, we're continuing our adventure. So we'll see a nice another spot where we can take another photo. Okay? Yes. Are you having fun? Yes. Yes. <laughs> On this line, right now it's portrait. And then you get a bit headroom, big, you see? And the view. So I will be here, okay? And focus on me. When you focus, you click like this, okay? When I be there. Poses, yeah? Sorry, Thay, yeah? Eagle. Friends are drift, huh? Eagle. All right. So we moved to our second location and Emily learned. What did you learn? That when you need to take a picture for others, you need to have, you need to focus on the person and then you take, will take a picture. And then you take a picture and see if it's either landscape or portrait is best. It's best. And the last, last photo was a portrait or a landscape? Portrait. Portrait. And like that, it's uh, landscape. Landscape. All right, bravo! So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed our adventure, me and my cousin Emily. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are new to this channel. If you're not new, thank you for always following me. So, stay tuned for next week's video. And ciao ciao!